guys, welcome back to another episode of Mine. Here's my we're back with more Don't Stop. It's almost night time. Go 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 put this on, put this on. Okay, so while this is all going down and everything. Oh I just realized this thing froze. Did it freeze? The water is frozen. Holy crap! Wait, what happens then to the fish? Like, well, let's say you want to keep your fish alive for a very long time. Would you even be, be able to with that? Okay, so anyway, this episode we're definitely gonna check out all the new stuff we can craft. Um, like the endoceramic pit, I'm really, um, curious to see what the heck it does. I don't have a lot of space here, though, which is kind of sad. Um, I don't know where I would put it. Probably down here just to check it out. I mean, we're probably not going to use it because we've been, I mean, we, we've done a whole Don't Starve here just on living off this lantern, which is very lucky. So we definitely want to check out what the heck it's about. So Chester should, where is Chesterino? Chester? There you go, buddy. And he still has the food on him. Go eat one of these glowberries. He has a lot of freaking food on him. Let's um put some stuff away here before we start. Ooh, the wet freezer. Yes, you must eat ice. Soggy ice. Yeah. Dude, so much honey. This is amazing. Wanna make some honey foods right now? Let's make five different honey foods. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. So one, two. Three and four. This makes uh, honey nuggets. Mm, so good for you. So good for you. I should probably just eat the honey on its own just because it's better than putting four in there and making something crappy. So I think it'd be better if we just did that instead. Alright, so uh, let's check this out. Let's go to fire. Or light, rather. Endothermic pit, regular. The fire pit's regular. Minor hat. It's meh. Moggles. We didn't want to make those one day. Pumpkin lantern. A regular lantern. Part of the mod. This is it. The deluxe fire pit. It requires 14. 14 stone. That's insane. Uh, what else do we have here? A deluxe endothermic one. So we have a deluxe fire pit and a deluxe endothermic one. As well as a star of Anchial. Create your very own sun. Really interested in making one of these ones. As well as the star of Boreas. So this is a, these things are the same thing as you know regular fire pit and the, uh, the endothermic one. <laughs> Brass lantern. Okay. So, I think we'll go ahead and try to make the Star of Enchil. We have the two gears. We need cut stone and the gems. We have one red gem. So, I think in the next morning, uh, we just got attacked by, this, by, by the doggies, right? Let's go uh, chop down lots of trees here. I mean, lots of trees. Let's go chop down a very, very good amount of stone here. Um, I mean, I have, a, I have a lot of stone. But uh, it's not enough to make 30, I think. And even if it's not, I mean, even if it is, um, I want to go get more stuff anyway. So let's go do that. All right, so let's leave some inventory here that we're not going to need. We can check this with us. I think we're going to start using more gold for our uh, things, though, um, for our tools. Solely because, well, we have an easy access to it, thanks to the monster that we're obtaining left and right. And all of just, just all of the uh, things. What the heck's armor thing right here? I don't need that. Okay, so, ooh, uncommon gift. That's actually really nice. I would rather prefer these. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Those are nice. I'm just gonna leave them here. Ooh. Oh my god, we need to make another uh, crate exclusively for that. Okay, so we're gonna take one honey nugget with us. A lot of uh, honey, just so we can eat. Maybe we're gonna take sixteen. No, I'll take ten. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we should have a lot of inventory space. Actually, come here, Chester. I'm dumb. Here, hold on to that. Actually, come here. Let's put this glow bear away. And we'll also put away these... Actually, we'll keep, we'll keep everything. Yeah, even the cave in that is. Why the hell not? So before we go, let's just chop down these two trees right here. Should provide us with some more fuel. But yeah, I'm going to make those freaking pits. It's going to be amazing. I mean... I really want to make all the fire pits, so I want to make the upgraded version of the regular fire pit, which is called the deluxe one. I don't know what the benefit is of that, but it's going to take a lot of stone, so I'm, you know, it's a lot of stone. It's like 14, was it? And then just for double of that, we can make the Starve and Joe, which I think it's going to be one of the best things to make at this particular moment, just because, you know, it's winter. We have 12 days to survive the... the, the the freaking cold we might as well get something that's going to benefit us right now so i think we're going to make the star of angel and because it's really easy to make a fire pit um I th 
and there's no room at the house, we'll probably just destroy our fire pit there. And, uh, you know, we can always build one later. And put our cool, awesome star thing there. So, ooh, this thing's here. Alright, so, oh my god. The pigs. Whoa. Jeez, look at that. Look at that. This, this thing's been here since day one. I haven't picked it up at all. The only thing, it, it was there because, um, it wasn't. There was a skeleton on the ground. And I just broke the skeleton and left it there. Alright, so we're here to get lots of stone. And not only that, but, uh, maybe we can get a bunch of cool resources. So, oh my god, look at that. Freaking tree. I didn't even realize we were here yet okay so I think we'll just go straight from where we're going so if we just go straight north we should and what once we reach one of the uh, the rocks to knock down that's it we're good all right birdies aha always had to grab these tumbleweeds though ah come here tumbleweed you're mine buddy come here come here, come here. Mm -mm. two three ah crap I didn't put enough twigs away we're gonna be overloaded on twigs right now oh you hear that it's the sound of the ocean man all right, let's do this. Where is my pickaxe? There you go. Uh, I missed some tumbleweed. Missed a couple tumbleweeds. It's fine. They're like a billion tumbleweeds. I'll just wait till they walk up to me, or they're like semi close. I'm not gonna chase after that. We're gonna waste some time. Oh my god, I really like this new freaking snow chest. It's, it's amazing. We can go out for much more longer without having to worry about food. So we got lots of these just to eat, as well as the hungry nuggets for health, taffy for sanity. I don't think we're gonna need it though. Big, more awesome hibernation vest. We haven't had to worry about um, sanity for such a long time. Not only does it make you not want to eat, but uh, the hibernation vest protects from cold, and um, its sanity boost is one of the highest armors that gave sanity boost. It is freaking amazing. I'm glad I made it. And uh, yeah, we, we have more than enough resources to repair it any single time we want. The only okay, it's it's it. I'm not sure if it protects you. That much from damage but um you know it's really amazing and we're starting to freeze okay this thing is cold we'll just give it a chest <laughs> um we have the hibernation vest so it should last us a while out here until we freeze which is good you know it's really good remember back to the on the old don't starve uh first season of this when uh we just had to stay at home because it was so cold anywhere else it's pretty awesome um yeah spiky bushers where are all the tumbleweeds at, man? Where yo, where all my tumbleweeds at, man? Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Up right, up, I'm oh, sorry, up leftish. Just break down all these rock arenas and see what's going on. I haven't had to farm any of the. Whoa! The Volt Goats! Wow, we haven't actually, like, seen any before. I think they've just been chilling around this area. Oh. Now, I don't know how these guys work. If I attack one. If they will all attack me, I really want to take one of their horns and see what's going on. But I'm pretty sure they breed just like any other regular. Oh god, what do you want? What do you want? We should probably research it and right now, so you guys don't have to tell me and like you know wait. You have to wait a day. So don't starve, Wiki. Volt goats. Uh, so let's do this right here. Don't starve, Wiki. Once again, we gotta do a little research on the volt goats and see uh see what's going on. So, um, a volt, volt goat. I want to see their behaviors. So, it's an animal found in the DLC, indigenous to the desert biome which we are in. It is a central. It is essentially a living lightning rod. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Any lightning strikes within its vicinity will seek out and uh, cause it to electricity to radiate electricity and glow. Normally, a passive creature, a charge goat of volt goat becomes highly aggressive while charged. Any attacks made on the goal. Oh my god, it'll stun me. That's pretty dang cool. Upon death, a volt goat will drop three meat and a 25% chance to drop a volt goat horn. If killed while it is charged, it will also drop electric milk. That's insane. Okay, so we'll look at this item. Look at this. Okay, similar to the beef low rock lobsters, volt goats roam in herds and reproduce periodically. However, attacking one of the volt goats will not cause the rest of the herd to become hostile. That is one of the very important notes I was looking for. So there we go. Wearing a rain hat, raincoat, or umbrella will insulate the player against the electricity. That's really interesting. Using a morning star on an uncharged volt goat will charge it. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Alright, interesting. So let's check out the items. Volt goat horn. Let's see, its only purpose is used to craft a morning star or weather pane, making it worthwhile. Worthwhile, huh? So look at 
the morning star or weather pane all right so this is the morning star pretty interesting emits light does more damage to wet targets hmm let's see it's a melee weapon okay two electrical do that's two niner it's very easy to craft it seems it's very very easy to craft 43 damage pretty damn good 72 damage while wet that's insane unlike most weapons the morning star does not lose durability when it strikes it loses durability while held because probably it emits light all right let's see here that's really cool. It's, it's it's not a bad item. And finally, the weather pane. I've never even seen this item before. The weather pane is a ranged weapon. Oh, it's a ranged weapon. That's pretty interesting. Ten down feathers, which um are from oh the the, the down feathers are from the boss, right? One volt gold horn and one gears to craft it. When used, it launches a whirlwind toward the target, which will dance back and forth near the point of impact once it reaches the target, damaging enemies and destroying the objects. Because the weather pane is it's not affected by the player, it's not a, okay. Let's eh, always do seven when used by any player. Weather pane is best used against slow or immobile targets that spawn weaker enemies. Interesting. I'm not sure if it's uh, that awesome to use. But we'll see. And finally, the electric milk lasts six days. Stacks up to forty. It's not the best stats. Three, twelve, and ten. Um, dairy food dropped by Volcult. Consumed. It's an ingredient for Crockpot for ice cream. Man, I'm not really interested. Pretty cool item. I'm glad we learned a little bit about it. And uh, now I know for sure, you know, it would be nice to get the uh, the Morning Star. But, um, nah. You know, we don't really have to. Alright, so back to doing this junk over here. So as soon as it hits tonight, we'll go ahead and uh, whip out the old brass lantern to continue working here. It's going to slow us down a bit because we're going to have to uh, back and forth equip and unequip our item. But uh, it's better than sitting down doing nothing back at home, right? Falcon in the hood. Oh man, we have so much stone here. Yeah, it's really awesome grabbing these uh, these gold tools. Okay, let's see here. Opulent pickaxe. Dang, it requires four sticks though. Oh, it requires four sticks. It's the same size as regular pickaxe. It should just mess with the um, how much uh, gold you have instead. What would I read? Just me. All right, let's keep looking. There was one over here I missed. La -da 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 -da. Let's see. But yeah, I did say before. I did say so before. I wish that these um, these desert palms were actually in the game itself. Oh man, it just they seem very like like it just seems like it was supposed to be here, you know. All right. Anyway, where are my tumbleweeds at? I think tumbleweeds are OP. Um, but they should only like should balance it out, you know, just like the bees that like, you can't harvest them during winter and stuff like that. Oh god, oh 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 oh, it's gone. Yeah yeah, but you can't harvest the bees during winter. You shouldn't be able to harvest the uh, tumbleweeds during I don't know w w one of the seasons where, where where it makes more sense. But you know what I mean, right? Just to balance it out a little bit, make it more harder. I'm not sure if I even actually um ever. Ah, oh God, come here. Uh, hi, my buddy. Whoa. Look at that. Just delivering twigs and grass to me. Yeah. I don't know if I even, like, farmed a tumbleweed out here in winter before. All right, straight up again. Do -do -do. I just realized that the tumbleweeds make a sound when they get close to you. Um, cactus. Cactus, cactus. Cactuses are cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Chester. Ding, 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 ding. I really want a Chester plushie. Someone can send it to me. It'd be so nice. I'll have it in every single one of my videos. I'll like put him on my shoulder. I'll like put put some tape on his booty, and then uh put him on my shoulder for the rest of my Don't Starve uh, gameplays. I would. I don't think I would. So I could, I could put some snacks in there, and then while, while like I'm resting out here, like uh, <laughs> while I'm resting in a fire pit, I'll just open him up and then get some food out of there. It'd be nice. Ah! Oh! Penguins, no! Go away! Alright, let's see. Yeah, seems to be going really well. We're getting a lot of stone here. We're clearing out the place. Man. Alright, let's see. I'm expecting... Oh, I did expect more tumbleweeds to be around here. I'm not sure why, uh, why we're not seeing that much. So far, it's only been... Um, I, I would say half 
I don't know. Pretty much 75% of a Don't Starve Day. And we've only seen maybe, or rather collected about four tumbleweeds so far. What do we got here? We got a uh, meaty stew and a random spear, which I will probably not want. One, two, and some free stuff. One, two, three. Ah, the freaking stuff. Yeah, I guess we'll hold on to uh, the spear. If we have to get rid of inventory space, the spear is going to be first to go. We have way better items now. The only reason to hold a spear but is, is to harvest the, the, the grass and stuff. Oh, look, we're finally starting to freeze. It's been one whole day. We're finally starting to freeze. That's really awesome. We have enough tools to stay out here as long as we want. We can make a quick fire pit to heat ourselves up as well as our thermal stone. So, yeah. Well, once we start freezing, we'll go ahead and just do that. But for the, for the most part, we're going to stay out here and keep grabbing all the stuff. I've been uh, really neglecting to try to make those fire pits, and now's the time we're getting. I mean, we might have enough rocks already, but we want even more, not only to last us a long time, but uh, to, you know, to feed the rock lobsters would need to be. Also make walls from the bees. Um, we don't want them to attack me during summer, so I want to make a wall around them so they can't reach me. There's a random frog over there, <laughs> by the way. Uh, this is probably going to spoil. Where did that frog come from? It didn't rain. Or maybe he just, he's been a survivor, that's all. It happens sometimes, you know, frogs survive. He's a survivor. Frog, da, da, da. I don't know. One, two, three. It seems like these things um, pretty consistently give out four rocks each, which is nice. It's 11 more days till spring. Oh, here we go. Now we're starting to freeze up a little bit. It's totally fine. Let me get hit a little bit. It's all good. Hi, right, Chester. You have that awesome. Uh, who said, uh, how do I produce said coconut? Alright, Chester, come here. What the heck? I put the thermal stone in Chester, but he wasn't making it cold, you know what I mean? Alright, so right, we'll stay here until this thing gets into the, the heated state and then we'll keep moving along. See? This will be the perfect time to be like, Chester, can you give me some of that food? I don't know, I'm gonna eat that thing right here. Nice. Wait until I get warm. Wait until I get warm. Kind of cold right now, actually. Like IRL, just less a little bit. All right, there it is. Let's go. Don't want to waste any time here. Okay, Got to keep going. So I think uh, we'll head back home as soon as it hits morning of the next day, and then we'll try to our and we'll try our hand out at crafting one of those things. Look, look at my freaking food though. When's the last time I ate? Poof. It was like around uh, 6 p.m. of the last Don't Starve Day. This is amazing. The hibernation vest. Oh, it's wonderful. None of these bosses, man. I mean, I think two of these bosses have been with help, but the other two, I think I've killed by myself, right? Like, uh, the Moose Goose? Freaking wrecked that thing. Like, it's easier It's easier than fighting um, a tree garden. My thing is, I really messed up. Uh, the Moose Goose. Bone shards. That's pretty cool. The Moose Goose showed up very early in the season and I took him out as quick as I could. I'm not supposed to do that. If I want to farm it, that is. He, um, over the seasons, I'm oh, sorry, over the season which he appears in, he produces little, little babies that we're supposed to just farm. <laughs> we haven't been doing that. So that's why we only pick, well, we were able to pick up a little bit of, um, down feathers as opposed to like, you know, how many we need to craft shit. Come here, you damn tumbleweed. See, this will be a good reason to have the walrus tusk. Right now, the walrus... Stop it! We're losing! Come on! Okay, I'm gonna get this guy. I'm getting this guy. I, I, I've committed already. You son of a bitch. Arrgh! Better be worth it. Not worth it. Oh, at least we can cover this area. That wasn't worth it. Do -do 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 I was at the beach. Everybody had matching hibernation vests. Hmm... It was a rock lobster. Never even seen a rock lobster in real life. Those things are real, right? I mean, it might not be like a totally like hardened rock lobster, but it could just be the name. I mean, right? I mean, there's like flying fishes, but they don't actually fly. They just glide through the air like flying squirrels. Alright, we're almost good. I hope this is enough. I mean, you can easily do the math. What is it? Four each? It's four each, right? Yeah, oh, it's three. Yeah, we have enough. <laughs> Yeah, but no. Alright, but yeah, I, I, I did say so. We're gonna wait till the next morning and then we will do that. Besides, we're uncovering all this area. It's nice. It's we, so, we, so we know for sure, like, oh, we don't need to go here anymore. We pretty much uh, got everything I needed. 
Is this thing gonna give me some bone sharks? Is this gonna give the bone sharks to me? Uh, broke a bit. Come on, buddy! Da -da 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 -da. No one gives a crap, I don't want. Oh, you guys want some doop a doop? Some doop a doop? Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna end here. Next episode, we're gonna keep going until morning. Then we'll head back home and create the dang fire pits. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Echo. A lot of daily videos. Uh, more Don't Stop on the way. Slowly working. Slow, slowly surviving, that's for sure. Oh, that's old goat! Ah, so, man, thanks for watching. Wow, oh, it's a little farm here. We're staying here for the night. Well, thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.